Sí. So who do we have up next? We have uh looks like a maybe a wolf in this boat? It makes you wonder. Motion Z versus Diamond Dupree. We've seen uh these names around before, but maybe I, they're not the I don't ever see Isabel. <laughs> I can't say I know, you know, much about this character. Isabel, well I mean <clears throat> same game plan as uh as you see from Hang on, I'm just looking for the... Uh, there we go, Diamond Dupree, yeah, and Isabel, who's been uh, doing decently enough for themselves, definitely takes after Mr. Zircon in uh, a few ways, hopefully looking to uh, replicate their results. Certainly, uh, Mr. Zircon, a former Xeno champion themselves, Diamond Dupree, well, uh, maybe not quite that level of success, but definitely looking to... Always the first time for everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the first thing you do is pocket <laughs> laser, why not? Just grab the laser, just grab it. Hey, yo, let me, just, love uh, let me Wolf. just put that in my pocket. And Gyroid going to sit there in the middle of the stage. But Motion Z, you're basically saying to Motion Z, pick a side, and you're cutting the stage oh, yeah, in half. Much. I do quite like it. it. It it basically just, you know, locks off a portion of the stage from your opponent because now that they jump over it, it may activate. They can't really, you know, run through it unless they have a projectile, maybe to break it. So for a lot of characters, it could just be a complete shutdown. They have to wait. Um... I, I yeah, love watching Wolf, though. On what's ostensibly Final Destination, and you're, uh... Ooh, that's not what you want to be doing against Wolf, I feel like. Oh, okay, the episode, right there, the episode actually breaks the gyroid. Uh, whoa, I think he tried to land right on the ledge, and... Maybe, uh, he just fast fell and went right through it. He barely misses it, not gonna cost him. Oh, man, just like saying that, the back is gonna take... See the deal. So now we're, both players are even again. Wolf is just a, pl uh, a character that can capitalize so much off of uh, players' mistakes. Like, if a wolf player has really good fundamentals, it's just so hard to, to be a wolf. Uh, combined with his already really good moveset. It's just, just I'm saying that, the conversions from Diamond to Free here. I know Isabel's Nair is, is a, a monster in its own right. Uh, I see, whenever I see people talk about Isabel, they talk about that move. Already a big lead for Diamond Dupree here. Ooh, maybe not the correct option there. Maybe an S match would have been correct there. He's yeah, that's, missing it. that's kind of what I'm thinking because it wasn't spaced out properly for roll either. So it makes you uh, makes you wonder if it was just a misinput as back throw was going to come out from Diamond Dupree. Nice covering the jump with the up air. I believe that was a sour spot. I think if it was sweet, it might have killed uh, Motion there. Ooh, it may well time. have, but it's going to be Diamond Dupree going up two stocks to one instead. Good uh, reading of the motion by Diamond Dupree, but also we can't really discount the role of the projectiles dictating Motion Z's moment, uh, movement a little too much for their comfort. Here we go. Ooh, nice punish. Wow, did he know that was going to happen? Oh, my, oh come on. Oh, yeah, 84%. Diamond Dupree with some quadruple digit IQ plays. Got some optimal it, plays here, some optimal damage. Ooh, no punish on the dash attack. I think that could have been a, a, maybe a setup into a kill to take the game. Let's hope it doesn't cost him. And that jab. Jab in the corner. Oh my god, <laughs> oh, oh, no. and that is how you put a stop to game number one. A convincing him mashing. victory. From he caught him mashing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Just uh, too many buttons coming out. Motion Z is going to get punished for it. And yeah, that little jab uh, right up on the ledge. There's nowhere to go but uh, but back towards that but hammer. Up. And Diamond Dupree now sits up one to nil. And uh, Motion Z just not able to utilize those uh, those big hammering buttons of Wolf O'Donnell to their advantage. Which is surprising. Wolf never usually has a problem doing that. So this is interesting to see. Yeah. I wonder what the stage counterpick is going to be here. Um, like I said, I, I don't know too much about Isabel. Um, I would feel like if there was a smaller stage, it might be more difficult to really uh, get in. Because then when she puts on a gyroid, well, then she's covering technically more of the stage now. Because it's smaller. Um, so I don't know if a stage counterpick or just a, a change in playstyle would be the, the way here. But here we go on to the second game on small battlefield. Uh, seems to be a big favorite stage now, uh, ever since it was introduced. It's, it's quite a good stage for a lot of characters. Um, 
Uh, I definitely don't see a problem with the pick. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great layout, all things considered. And the base was kind of clamoring for a new small stage because they were they were saying yeah you know we do we do need small stages in Definitely. order to make the rule set complete because there's too much uh largeness we have yoshi's island brawl remember at the early part of the game so we need to counteract that with WarioWare. now neither stage are really tournament legal widespread but yeah you still have uh the contention that you need a small stage. Oh my do god, that's that small battlefield air. and it's definitely benefiting motion z here as they're going to confirm that combo with the back air that move continues to surprise me. Uh, you know, it's always a little troubling when it, you it see barely him in that back here. Died. Yeah, he hits it so consistently for someone who wears an eye patch. It's a little sus. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to talk to Wolf about that. Yeah, that's um, that's that's a little, that's a little troublesome. Wow, missing Did on the hit grab. On that? Yeah, dude, up smash uh, scoops like uh, like mad. And, no, not a single bad smash. Attack, Motion's definitely honestly, from, feeling uh, the momentum now. He's just moving a lot, pressing a lot of buttons. He doesn't care. Ah, uh, caught a mash in there. He's gonna up throw him, and that's gonna take the stock. And another back hair. You gotta oh. be careful with that. Yeah, right upon uh, descent from the angel platform. He's like, "Hi, I'm back. You're dead." It's uh, yeah, Motion Z. You catch him lacking. That's when you get the smack in, and now... Such a big difference from the first game here. It is insane. Now Motion's taking a huge commanding lead compared to the first game. Maybe he just had to figure out how uh, Diamond plays. Because now he's just capitalizing. He's, he's going in. Well, Diamond... I know the problem is that Diamond's holding in. Like... Yeah, I, definitely. Yeah. It really is it. He's dropping the controller. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's like, grabbing a snack whenever he gets touched. He's leaning on the control stick in. Like, you don't need to do this, man. Just, like, walk instead. You're trying to read a roll, bro. Like, no, you, you need to move. I'm, I'm sorry. No, you don't have a lot of later. space to do it. But, you know, that's what you got to do here. Diamond seems to be fighting Ghost here, dude. Like, two S smashes. Oh, good use of the laser, however. Ooh. And that's going to take a stock. I messed up his There's angle, a... looks like. Probably buffered that and on, the, and on accident. We take those. Uh, perhaps, but yeah, you never want to count him out. Good spot dodge into the up smash by Motion Z. Cool. Uh, you might have just ran out of this space. That grab. Gonna get hairy. Good. <laughs> In more ways than one, and this is an absolute dogfight here at Small Battlefield. And oh, Jai barely missed the back air. That trying was to so read close. the air dodge back to the stage, but not enough drift on the air dodge. Diamond is Diamond fighting Casper and his uncles right now. Oh my God. Mm, that is why Wolf O'Donnell looking in Isabel's eyes and saying, respect your elders. And Motion Z is going to take game number two. Diamond Dupree making it a little close, uh, finding a little bit more effectiveness with the buttons. But Motion Z uh, eventually the big he beneficiary of having a really good back air. He caught, he caught Diamond Mash in that time for, for real. Mm. Absolutely, and is it really just going to come down to a staring contest for game number three? Because we've seen both players kind of get called out for their lack of patience in many situations. Diamond Dupree beginning to bring that back from game number two, but it was not enough at the end, just simply running out of real estate in that big hammering yeah, back air too big. Just a little too much, so we might be seeing a bit more of a methodically paced game here in this game number three, I would imagine, depending on the stage. It's gonna be interesting too, considering it's not so light, you have to be so careful as this character. Wow, 16% just chuck it back at him. Gave him his FedEx package back. Oh no, they are more than ready. And now you have the, uh, now you have it there. You're just more than, okay, reach in your pocket and grab the ball of plasma that you're gonna throw at your opposition. Why not, Isabel? You know, you do you. That pot catching the roll, that move is so good sometimes. Good combo game by Diamond Dupree. Definitely knowing the combo strings and good knowledge oh, of the character is required when you're playing uh, Isabel or Villager, to be honest. So, now this is a big difference from game two. You know, it's back to how uh, game one was looking. There's a uh, pretty, pretty sizable lead here for Diamond. He's got the corner locked down. This is what we were talking about with the, uh, the gyroid. Ooh. Good use of the slingshot. Not gonna find its mark there, but Diamond Dupree. Plants it again, locks him in the corner. What's he gonna do? Yeah, you're basically keeping them at the ledge. That hit grab not going to work before Motion Z gets back to the ledge. 
throw the laser right back, return to sender. That's a little something for uh, for Pete the Pelican to deliver. And yeah, Ocean Z down one stock already, and Diamond Dupree only sitting at 56% before that F tilt. Nice. Up smash out of shield punish, gonna stop him from doing that up tilt. No punish. Probably wanted to respect the Nair, considering Wolf's Nair can need to be so safer sometimes. You don't really know most of the time if you can punish it or not. Motion's gonna have to do a. a... Ooh, I think he had, the, he had the right idea there. That definitely would have killed if it landed, but unfortunately, uh, Diamond just saying no. Let's see here, Motion's can possibly get a ledge trap to stop him. Wow, so unfortunate. That was so unlucky. Ooh. Yeah, nice. I mean, that can be a back throw, and that's, yeah, you're not surviving that, especially not at that percentage. Motion Z trying to make this comeback happen, and I really feel like you're just uh, two or three aerial strings away from it. I mean, with the grab, let's see what's going to happen here. Barely misses the, the, the fishing rod. Oh, nails him. Almost kills him. Oh, that's wow, a good right spot. up there. That nice. is when that is when you break out the seance, start burning some sage, and call forth the three turnups. And now Diamond Dupree sitting at 17%, 40 now, but still uh, in a very good position. Catches him shielding, and has been utilizing that grab so effectively. Florida, uh, it's not looking good for Motions, brother. I, I don't know if uh, Motions can bring it back here. Uh, Diamond's been locking it down uh, a lot better than I think the previous two games. And he's been getting so much off of it. Motion's having to really try to figure out how to get in. Nice. Just <laughs> runs up and does a down smash. You know, just let it rip. Yeah, I mean, you uh, you have the ground speed with the, with which to cover it. You know that Isabel yeah. isn't going to throw that uh, dangerous an option at you. Might as well just run up and do it. Yeah, and you, now... you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Exactly. And now it is game number three. One stock apiece. Winner moves on in the winner's side. So, stuff at stake, uh, definitely Ooh, tournament implications on the line. With this one stock here on Pokemon Stadium, I mean, who do you even give the advantage to? Because Diamond Dupree could be Whoa, in every dangerous territory now. Bad DI, that would have been it. Motion's God, turning oh, it around here. Not the back air! Wow! Back air! Diamond Dupree! Suffer! That wasn't even back air, that was a nair! No, you're right. Oh my gosh. Throwing it out there. I'm so used to seeing Wolf stick their leg out there. But yeah, you're right. We don't see Wolf Nair kill all that often, but that is beautiful stuff by Motion Z. Motions just going all in and never looking back there at the end there. Sometimes is it's it, just what you gotta do in it. Oh my god. Oh, is god. it motion? Okay, well shoot, I'm sorry about that. I thought Motion <laughs> Z was a dude, I thought Motion Z was a cool tag, honestly. But, Definitely, yeah. he, he, he showed a lot of motion there at the end. He was started moving. Really? Even did. went as You're far as just basically almost off screen to, to kill Dupree there. You, you know how good motion's conditioning was? The fact that he made me call it a back air. That's how effective oh, this yeah. dude <laughs> has, uh, has been in just getting people. We're not even playing, and he, he's track. out here conditioning us. Uh, unbelievable. You know you're good when you're conditioning the commentators. That's some next level stuff. But uh, yeah, definitely a well-earned uh, game by Motions. But honestly, Diamond Dupree not doing all that badly. Looked like the momentum was in their favor, but uh, that was, ultimately, that was highway robbery. Oh yeah, it really felt like that, didn't it? That's uh, that's a shame for Diamond Dupree. He walked into his store and he said, "Give me all your money. You're not winning." And he just walked out with the set. And it's so crazy how things can turn around like in the blink of an eye. You know, one one moment you you're you have such a sizable lead, and then uh, a few uh, weaknesses, and maybe your playstyle or your reactions to things, and that can just be it for you. That can just spell you know defeat. Motions, great freaking job there! Oh my god, he just he just went all in at the end there. He knew that.